School, please be upstanding. Kia ora tato. please stay standing as we open up with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Kia inoi tato. E kote ai o nuku e kote ai o rangi te nei o te nei o fakarongo mai fakarongo mai fakarongo mai ra e te toi o nga rangi. Te toi arki te toi uru tapu te toi uru rangi te toi uru roa. Fakatau ha fakatau ha. Tau mai te koroai atawhai ki te mata o te whenua kia pā mai hoki tō aroha me tō rahi ki te hunga rawa kore. Kia tau awhetia te mate pōre hu e koe. Whakaora ano tia te tūrohi e tō wairua tapu. Arahina mai mā tau ki te aretika kia whakatīna na hoki e tāu e whiriwhiri nei mō mā tau. Whaka oho tia mai mā tau e tō tārawa mārire kia mana tū hoki ki o kupu. Kia mō he o pū, he ara tapu te ara ihu, he wahi tapu hoki tō nāra. Hau me e hui e tāike. Peace on earth and in the heavens. I am that I am. Hear me. Hear me, hear me, Supreme Chief of Heavenly Realms, source of all authority, source of all things sacred, source of all heavens, source of everlasting creation, settle upon us. Let your benevolent cloak settle upon the land. May your love and abundance be felt and received by those in need. The sorrowful lovingly in your embrace 
the tired and weary restored in your Holy Spirit. Guide us to a righteous path so that your divine plan becomes manifest in us. We are awakened by your gentle murmur. Let us heed your words and know Christ is the sacred pathway. His path is indeed a sacred place. We join, we gather, we unite. Amen. You may now be seated. Kōri hi pō, kōri hi au. Hei tūri e ki te matahau nō tū. Nō tū te winiwini, nō tū te wanawana, tū hikitia, tū hāpainga, tū whakapote ki te whaiao, ki te amarama, ti hei wa mauri ora. Ko te mea tuatahi, he mi atu ki te o tātou matua nui te rangi. He honore he kroria ki te atua, he maunga rongo ki te whenua, he whakaaro pai ki ngā tangata katoa. All honour and glory to God. Peace and goodwill to everyone who is gathered here today. No reira e te whānau, no mai, hara mai, whakatau mai. E te tuene hoki wairua mai. Hoki wairua mai i roto tēnei tō tūranga, tō kura, wo kaimahi i roto tēnei āhuatanga. I'm going to uh, just translate I would like to welcome each and every one of you. I want to welcome you to this place. And I want to especially welcome uh, our tuahine, uh, Whaalua. We call it hoki wairua mai. In my culture, um, after we have farewelled someone, there is always the after part, the closure part, or the part that where one chapter is closed, another chapter has opened. And this memorial, as we, and I wanted to explain this korowai and what the significance of korowai means. We normally say, no mai haira mai i roto te korowai aroha. Welcome, welcome under the cloak of love. And so this korowai that I'm wearing is a special korowai for Māori, korowai is the thing that represents the mana of your people. And so when someone wears a korowai, it is not just a, you know, and if I was a child, I would be making some bird sounds. And if my wife was here, she would scold me. You know, we would, as, ch as children, we would run around with the korowai and we would make bird sounds, <coughs> which I won't do today. But when we see someone with a korowai, it's something very prestigious because korowais are handed down generation after generation through generations. And, and it represents the prestige, the mana, the love, the reputation of where you come from. But during times of sadness and bereavement, we refer to a korowai as being a cloak of grief, a cloak of sadness, a cloak of love. And so to the Fano Pani, to the family, Chris, Pastor Chris, you and your family, we welcome you under the Korowai Aroha, the Korowai Maioha, the cloak of love, recognizing that you are still in the Korowai of grief. And we call it Tai Mahatanga, the heaviness the burden. And so we welcome you through all of that. We welcome you as you come and we really want to thank you that you have allowed us to express our love as your school, as your family, as your extended family, as your hapu, as your iwi here at ESDA. And so on behalf of of, uh, of Asda, um, I have to acknowledge too our, our, our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ and also uh, our kai krakia, our 
the person that opened up with prayer. Uh, we always acknowledge them. But returning to you, Pastor Chris, and your family, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. And may the Lord continue to walk with you through this time. No reira te whānau, kā nui tēnei mō tēnei wā, mā te atua tātou, koutou, mātou e manaki i roto o tēnei āhuatanga. Kia ora mai tātou katoa. going to sing our school song, so let's all sing it together. Uh, it is an honor to invite uh, Chairman Stephen Davis to the stage uh, and representative of the ASDA Board of Trustees. Well, thank you for coming this morning and uh, taking some time to remember and to celebrate uh, the life of a highly respected and much-loved teacher at our school. On behalf of our school board, I first uh, wish to offer our sincere condolences to you, Chris, and uh, to Angela, Eliana, and Darius, uh, and to the extended families who have gathered together uh, with us today. Our thoughts and prayers are very much with you at this time, and uh, we acknowledge that it has been a very difficult time and journey that you've been on, uh, not only in the past few weeks, but over many uh, months and years as well. Uh, your wife and mum also shared with us, as uh, Mrs. Sulaloto was a colleague and an extra parent uh, to our students at ASDA. And as we think back over the past uh, 15 years or so that Mrs. Sulaloto has taught here, we recognize and honor the massive impact in the lives of so many hundreds of students uh, during those years. We want to say thank you, a very big thank you, to you, her family, uh, for the time and energy and dedication that she invested into our school, often times when it came at considerable personal cost to herself. Fa'alua was a highly respected colleague to our teachers and staff here today, and the board wishes to acknowledge the deep sense of loss and sadness that you're all going through presently. Today, I hope that as we remember, we will be inspired by her legacy and commitment and be encouraged in knowing that so many young people and older have benefited and changed for the better through her influence, her care, and her love. 
I also want to thank our senior leadership team as they have led the school through this challenging and tragic time. Thank you, Mrs. Formatu, for the uh, time and effort that you have in your pastoral care and uh, for uh, planning and leading this service today. And uh, to Mrs. Tualilo for the time and wisdom that you have shared and spent with the whole staff team and the student body. Our school is wonderfully blessed by your leadership and we thank you for taking this special time that we can celebrate and remember the life and memories of Mrs. Sulalotu today, to be reminded of the wonderful future when death is finally defeated and we are reunited all together forever. I would now, now like to ask the year 12 to make their way up for their special item. Thank you. Um, on behalf of the Year 12s, I just want to welcome everyone here today. Um, thank you for the opportunity um, to let us express ourselves to you guys. Um, we have constructed a poem for Mrs. Sololoto, and it reads, Mrs. Sololoto, I realize you were a mother. I realize you were a wife. I realize you were a faithful servant of God, never complained about your life. But most importantly, you are our teacher. Many of us you taught. Although the storms of sickness surrounded you, until your last moments you fought. Your love felt like a blanket. Your words played like a song. You minded us of our purpose. You showed us right and wrong. I realized the words you meant when you said, you got this, keep fighting. You showed us the light of God. You told us to keep writing. You anchored us to the shore. When we drowned, you kept us afloat. Never once did you raise your voice or send our parents a note. As I write this poem, I can't help but cry and ask questions to God like why? Because after all, you were the greatest teacher, but now remain as a memory of a preacher. We weren't prepared to say goodbye. We didn't realize when these conversations were the last. Ironically, we were speechless and numb because there was too much to say but time was fast. Rest assured knowing that your legacy lives on and the life you lived will be celebrated. The honor and love you brought to our school will never be underrated. We thank you for your time, we thank you for your knowledge, and in two years time, we'll be able to say we graduated college. We bid you farewell with heavy hearts, we dry our tears with hope. When the glorious morning comes, until then, we will cope.
you finally make your entrance to that city of Jasper Walls and Bright Golden Avenue as you behold all its beauty and a splendor remember there's just one request I make of you look for me for I will be there too I realize when you arrive there'll be so much As you go down your list of first, there's no question you're gonna see your loved ones waiting there for you. When you feel your shared your story with the last one. So much to view after you've been 
I've been dreaming of a city right up in the sky. Thank you to the Year 12s for that, for honoring uh, Mrs. Suloto with that item. And thank you to the girls as well. Look for me in heaven and I will look for you. Beautiful words. And as the Year 12 make their way down, uh, it is a privilege to uh, welcome the principal, Gloria Teulilo, to the stage and pay tribute. Yes, thank you, Year 12. Um, they looked a bit nervous. I guess they're the starting group. And um, yeah, thank you for being up here. And before I, I start my presentation, I would just like to acknowledge that we have a former ASDA principal with us, Mr. Fidua Young. Thank you for being here. Um, and I, you and your wife, I know you are related uh, to Falua, and um, we just acknowledge that you're here with the group this morning. Thank you. Okay. To Pastor Chris, Angela, Ileana, Darius, and to Mrs. Sululoto's wider family, welcome to the ASDA Memorial Service, where we celebrate the life of Falua and say thank you to you for sharing your wife, mother, sister, family member with us. We were blessed to have her as part of our lives and we really honor and appreciate the time she was given to be with us. I'll just pause and get the year 12s in quickly. Come on in, come on in. They're just a bit hesitant because I've started speaking. Quickly boys, come on in. Over the years at ASDA, Falua's life, um, as you will hear today, had a real impact. She filled different roles in the classroom. Head of learning support, girls dean, classroom teacher. But in all of the roles that she filled, her heart was always that of a great teacher. You see, great teachers, they focus on learning that goes beyond the classroom. They focus on intentionally connecting with students, prodding, pushing, and seeing the future that students can't quite see for themselves. Great teachers focus on modeling a life of godly service because students learn more from the actions they see rather than the talk that they hear. And great teachers know that at the end of the day, every child matters. Falua knew this, and for the times, students, that she growled at you to get into class, to focus, to do your work. Or she would call your parents for every time she gave you food. She took you to the dean's office to get a jacket or to get you some shoes. She was helping you because she believed in your importance. Mrs. Sululoto was a great teacher. Last year, I got a glimpse of the battle she fought with cancer when she shared her story at the senior girls' camp. Mrs. Sululoto, as dean, organized an amazing camp, and the theme was beautifully rooted in God. At this camp, Mrs. Sululoto shared how her life really gained purpose after she was diagnosed with cancer. She talked about her journey and the conversations she had with God. She told him that if he was to bless her with more days to live, she would live it with purpose and do her very best each day. She told us at the camp that before her diagnosis, she was living life, doing all the right things, but there was no real substance underneath. And I'm paraphrasing her words. It wasn't until her cancer diagnosis that she truly understood what a life beautifully rooted in God's purpose looked like. She encouraged the girls not to squander and waste their time, but to live every day fully. 
Falua didn't only share that with us. She lived that life of purpose every day. And we were blessed to see the fruits of her ministry. Because for her, it wasn't just teaching. It was a ministry to reach students. Today, ASDA honors how Mrs. Sululota lived her ASDA values of commitment, excellence, and respect. To all of Mrs. Sululota's family here today, I hope you will get a sense of how much she truly meant to us. And when today is over, we will return to school, but it will not be the same because we are also missing a member of our family. Pastor Chris, Angela, Ileana, and Darius, we stand with you in your grief. We were blessed to have your mom, your wife, at ASDA. Thank you. Our lives are richer because she was in it. So I pray that God blesses and keep us all during this difficult time. Tēnā koto, tēnā koto, tēnā koto katoa. So before we play the video, I'd just like to um, welcome on the stage the head boy of ASDA and the head girl as well for their tribute. Hello for lover. My name is Simon Eteolilo, and I'm the head boy of the Auckland Seventh-day Adventist High School. It is a great privilege to stand before the Sululoto family and the Asda family and share a few words about our beloved Mrs. Sululoto. To the Sululoto family, she was known as a mother, wife, sister, auntie, and daughter. But to us, her Asda family, she was an adored teacher handpicked by God. In the years that we as students spent under her wings, we witnessed her kind heart, loving nature, humorous gestures, and at times her scary groanings. I believe that at ASDA, she gave her all to each student she taught, as she was without fail, the voice in Bible classes that cheered us on to do our best. One of the memories I have of this is when she cheered us up, is when she extended the assignment duty because she believed we could pass with just a little more time. Now the support didn't just stop at an educational level, but also showed up in the generous food offerings. I remember times when she would offer us these healthy snack bars that had no flavor and all of the boys would end up throwing them away in the bin. But that didn't stop her from connecting with us on a personal level. As I remember a time she walked up to some of the boys in our class and said in a graceful but stern Samoan voice, <clears throat> which simply means too much talk and getting nowhere. It is these sorts of small and big gestures that will be missed by many of the students in the school. Now it is well known that a teacher plays a very important role in creating and touching the lives of kids. But it is more important to note that the influence of a godly teacher can never be erased. This is the role that Mrs. Sululoto embodied in the lives of many ASDA students. From 2008 to 2022, she took the hands of countless students, opened their minds and touched their hearts. Our ASDA students weren't just fortunate to have a great teacher in our corner, but rather were blessed with a teacher who centered her life and the lives of her students around the love of Christ. Often, students don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And this is what Mrs. Sululoto set out to do every day that she spent teaching at ASDA. Because of her, we will know the great joy that comes from living a life that serves God. And because of her, we have realized that while a good education can change anyone, a God-fearing teacher can influence beyond the classroom. I want to thank you, Miss, for the incredible role you have played in our lives. Not only by teaching us how to count metaphorically,
by teaching us about what it is that counts literally, and that is about understanding God's love for us. I also want to thank Pastor Chris for sharing your wife with us during the limited time we had together. Because of you, Mrs. Sululoto changed one changed the world one kid at a time. I may not know the extent to which your grieving reaches, but what I do know is that God promises us in Psalms 34, 18 says, He is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Your grief is only temporary, and remember that death has no sting for those who believe. So continue to hold on to God during this time, for it is only Him that can carry you through. If there is any reassurance that I can offer you and your family in this time, it is that I know Miss will be there when Jesus returns. And so while you wait, I encourage you to continue to embrace her courageous and God-fearing heart. For when you do, we will know that she has never left. Rest in love to a teacher, a friend, and a kind-hearted soul. School won't be the same without your welcoming smile and gentle someone touches. You will forever be in our hearts and minds until we meet again. Ofatu malo. Good morning and welcome. My name is Monu Lua and I'm the head girl of ASDA. Today, we gather here to reminisce on her charismatic smile, admire her faithfulness in God, and praise the Lord for blessing ASDA with the one of a kind teacher, Ms. Loto. I had the honor of hearing her, family's, her family, friends, and colleagues' testimonies last week, and now it's time that we students commemorate her through stories, music, or dance. It's clear how much Miss loved Asda from the testimonies we heard. And now it's important that we show her that we show her family that Asda loved her too. Earlier this term, uh, we had our student week of prayer, and in term one, we were planning our theme and jumpers. And I remember one week, and I'm sorry to pass them away, but he shared us this design for our swap shirts, and it was just um, not the vibe. So. Me and my friends ran to Ms. Lotto and asked her if we could design our own. She said, of course you can. This is your student week of prayer. Just make sure you have everything organized and email me your design when you're done. When I think back on this, it really showed me how much she cared for us. And I'm sure this isn't the only story that showed this. All the students that have had her as a teacher can relate to this in some way. Because she was one of those teachers who would listen to our problems, help us find solutions, and then she would go the extra mile to push us to achieve our goals. It's safe to say that Miss is truly an inspiration to us all. We students never know what our teachers are going through, and at times I know we can be too much to deal with. But even in the days Miss Ulota went back and forth from the hospital, she still chose to come to school when she could. Her strength and passion to continue teaching when some would rather stay home speaks volumes to us all. And now we will all miss her presence at school. We will miss those laughs, growling to stop talking, and even just seeing her smile in the morning. Before I end off, I would like to say, I would like to thank the Lord for blessing us with Ms. Loto. I thank her family, Pastor Chris, kids, and extended families for the sacrifices you made that allowed Ms. to continue coming to school. Thank you students for participating today to celebrate her life, and thank you all for listening. God bless. Philemoni Tisani. Uh, Mr. Lotto has been my teacher for five years and she's taught me Bible. My name is um, Darius Tell. <coughs> I've been in Mr. Lotto's class for the past few years. Hi, my name is Ben Maka. Uh, Mr. Lotto has been teaching me Bible studies for the past three years. Hi, my name is Joseph. Um, Mr. Lotto has been teaching me for the past two years. Hi, my name is Jessica Hart. Um, Mr. Lotto has been teaching me for the for two terms. My name is Vika Vea and Mr. Lotto has been my Bible teacher for the past two years. One memory of Mr. Lotto would be um, when uh, she was sick and she was feeling pretty um, pretty down. Um, we saw a big TV screen 
uh, coming in our classroom and then all we see is Miss Lolota come on, she's sick, she's coughing, but she's still strong enough to teach us. That's one thing that I'll remember about Miss is being a strong individual and always persevering through anything. Now my favorite memories with Miss Lolota is um, being able to bond with her through um, music, um, specifically the wars group, um, being able to share with um, the same type of music. One memory um, I always have of Miss Lotto was her Spotify playlist. Um, if you were feeling unwell, she would just play her Spotify playlist. And that felt like heaven. And it would just take you to another level. One of my favorite memories with Miss Lotto uh, would probably be this one time. I was talking too much this one period. And uh, she put my name up to call my parents. And uh, so after class, this is uh, period, period five. So after class, I walked up to her and uh, we were both smiling and I said, Miss, we'll give you $2 right now if you don't call my parents. And she smiled and she said, she said, oh really? She just put one leg over the other, raised one eyebrow and said, is that it? I grabbed her apple and I said, I'll give you $2 plus this apple. She just smiled and told me to get out. <laughs> On my way, I told her, oh, I love you, Miss. And then she goes, you have until Friday. And yeah, it's just her humor, it's just. Um, one of my favorite memories. <clears throat> Uh, Miss Lotto is <coughs> last year we had market day and we needed some containers for our food and we, which we forgot and she went out and bought them for us. One of my favourite memories of Miss Lotto was um, when I class thought we were all stuck and tried going on our phones in front of her and she took them all off, off us and then she gave us all the wrong thing. I remember this one time with Miss Lotto. We were in class and um, I like to talk a lot in class and Miss Lotto. She could tolerate it, so I remember in class, this was like on the day before parent-teacher interview, I was acting all good, you know, quiet, I was young, I was different, I was different in front of Mr. Lotto, and then I thought she would just tell my parents, oh, he's a good boy, you know, he listens in class, he's quiet, came to the day, she told my parents, oh, he talks the most, I have to move him all the time, yeah, I got a hiding on that day, while Mr. Lotto said, at least you learn. At least I learned, yeah. I, I learned, but yeah. <laughs> learned the hard way, but yeah. I'm gonna miss a, miss a lot. Um, thank you for teaching us and always being there for us when we needed you. Thank you for always encouraging me, even though I probably did the least work in our class. I'd like to say thank you very much, Miss Soloto, for making me the person, uh, the person who I am today. Um, I appreciate all the long talks that we used to have about life and family and for you to always encourage me really meant a lot, Miss. Thank you. I'd like to say thank you to Miss Lotto for always um, encouraging me and always being honest with me to help me persevere in Bible. Uh, I'd like to say thank you, Miss Lotto, for um, helping me, um, encouraging me in my work and um, being a role model in my life. Thank you, Miss Lotto, for everything you've done. Thank you for the air pinches. <sighs> I'll continue to do my best for you. I love you, Miss. Thank you. It's Miss Lotto. Just want to thank you for everything that you've done. Oh, all those extended assessments and all those long talks just about life and um, religion and just to help me get a deep understanding on what being a real Christian is. I want to praise God for blessing us with a humble soul like yours. Um, thank you, Miss, for coming into the school and especially helping um, Polynesian students like us um, thrive for the future. Um, I thank you, Pastor Chris, for allowing your wife to come teach us and help us. Our young people, their identity is so important. Their identity in God, their identity in their ainga, and where they come from, their culture. And once you learn about that, that love that you have, you know, for your own children and your students will also have that love for and passion for learning. I think the advice that you know that um, I will give to our Pacifica um, students is that you can do it. Anything is possible if you put your mind to it. Work hard, don't give up and always know that you know God is always there and uh, he will support and carry you through.
Thank you to the students that were on the, for your beautiful uh, honoring of Mr. Lutz. You will now hear an item from the year nine students uh, at ASDA. So. Good morning, Asda. I'm Ava from 9JS, one of the three Year 9 homerooms. Um, me and Tavita here, we're going to be reading two poems. Okay. <laughs> she is gone. You can shed tears that she is gone, or you can smile because she has lived. You can close your eyes and pray that she will come back, or you can open your eyes and see all that she has left. Your heart can be empty because you can't see her, or you can be full of the love that you shared. You can turn your back on tomorrow and live yesterday, or you can be happy for tomorrow because of yesterday. You can remember her and only that she is gone, or, or you can cherish her memory and let it live on. You can cry and close your mind, be empty and turn your back, or you can do what she would want. Smile, open your eyes, Love and go on. The road to eternity. Life is but the stopping place, a pause in the what's to be, a resting place along the road to sweet eternity. We all have different journeys, different paths along the way. We're all meant to learn some things, but never meant to stay. Our destination is a place far greater than we know. For some, the journey's quicker. And for some, the journey is slow. But when the journey finally ends, we'll claim a great reward and find an everlasting peace together with the Lord. You give life. You give. 
Thank you, Year 9s, for that beautiful CE. E mo mo o na o fafero yat ile pa ia ma malu fa matai fia o le a fia uo pots pots le ne tai al vi ia le tsua ilana tai tai ina mana ilo o to soi fua malo ta to ne yola uo ta to filo ai i manga fita uo le ile ne tai al matango fie ai e fafso le fafero inga ile sunga le fafenga inga ya Christu loloto ma no fualu. Fa pele a inga fa avalva, ona le tsua in mafzanga mal fale tsua ya mususulo lotu, ona bala aupa ia o le si siri esse. E ma ima uele ne yo langa, pe ana le ya is le oti, le oti o fea o ya ilo tsui, le tsua ma ue o fea o ya ilo malu. E moli maule a lotso mar fa moe moe. E ui ina tinga le tui o leoti. A e peita o te moli ma watu. O lo o moe ma le man ma lo si o ma to fa ya onga. Po le fa le tue ya ma susulo lotu. A wa ua ma to moni ma wina. O ia o se tangata kirisiano. Ilana tu sa vali malana nga ngana. E nga ngana i upu o le alofa. Tau tala i upu apu apu a. Ina ia mātou mau o le poto salalau, a o lana fa maalos. Ia mau sali, ma mau waa, lo mātou fa tūtua ya Yesu Kiriso, ua fai tūtua lo na tūya fio mai. A ia manu e tele lau malanga mesu sulo loto, e le ngalo lava oi i o mātou loto. Ma pua tūia lo wanganga i aon matai, Tātou whiloa i le aso wha aru, e ma tāla i le langi a ia whio mai lo tātou wali i wha aula. O le uswhua ma ia man wia. Tūia i runga, tūia i raro. Tūia i roto, tūia i waho. Tūia te here tangata. Kā rongo te pō, kā rongo te ao. Au mi e hui e tāi ki e. Ko te timatanga o te whakaro nui, ko te wei ki a iuha. Nau mai, haere mai, whakatau mai. Ti hei mauri ora. Who was Mrs. Sololoto to me? Who was he to us? Year 90. The Bible verse that comes to mind when I think of Mrs. Sololoto is found in Romans 12 verse 9 to 10. You love, your love must be real. Love each other in the way that makes you feel close like brothers and sisters and give each other more honor than you give yourself. Mrs. Sololoto was a loving, caring and strong leader. She always put the needs of others first before herself. We used to live just down the road from Mrs. Sololoto and so my brother and I would catch a ride to school with her. My dad would drop us off at her house and she would take us to school with Angela. Now I am Māori, and in my family, half of us love kokosa more. So I remember when we used to wait at her house, she would offer us kokosa more or kokolaisa. 
being the polite person I am, I would politely decline, but my brother Michael would never refuse. I mean, look at him, he's huge. <laughs> him and my dad love cocosar more. Sometimes on the way to school, she would ask if we wanted something to eat. Being me, I would never deny a pie. Yet when I did say no, she would always make sure and then still get it even when I wasn't hungry. All I'm saying is Asda, love and care for everyone, no matter who they are, just like Mrs. Sololoto. <clears throat> Angela, because your mom always fed us, I would, like, I would just like to volunteer my brother Micah to buy you a pie whenever you are hungry. <laughs> Thanks, Micah. But seriously though, Pastor Chris, Eliana, Darius, Angela, thank you for sharing your wife and your mom with us. She was amazing and we love her and we will miss her. May Jesus come soon. Rest in love, Mrs. Sululoto. We'll see you again. Thank you, Year 9, for your item. We really enjoyed that. Um, you know, Mrs. Sululoto, you know, she was a strong individual, uh, but she always believed in togetherness. She always believed in doing ministry together with others. So I want to just invite the Bible department or the pastoral team who she did ministry with together. And I want to see you. I want you to see the friends that she had who helped her along uh, her time at ASDA as well. So I'll just invite the Bible department to make your way forward uh, and share some memories about their time uh, with Mrs. Suloto. As you know, Valua uh, Suloto taught mostly in my department. And uh, there's so many wonderful memories to share. And as I sat there with God one morning, I said, what do you want me to share about um, Mrs. Soloto? There's so many things. And you know what he said? He said to me, you know what? 
if she was there in person, she would hate that you're actually talking about her. She would want you to talk about her God. Is that true, Chris? Yeah. She, she never really liked to be in the front. She was always in the background, always serving. So today, instead of focusing on solely on Mrs. Soloto, we're going to focus on the qualities that God placed in her life through the word. She used to love teaching the word, so we're going to read the word, and everybody's going to read it together. We're going to have it up on, on screen. When I think of Alua, the first character quality, if I could have that up there now, what do you think F stands for? Faithful, yes. Uh, maybe they're still trying. Okay, uh, they'll get it up there. Okay, but I really wanted you to read together the word with me, and I'm just going to read the word and you're going to hear it. Okay? Faithful trust. Lamentations 3, verse 21 to 25. It goes like this. Then I remember something that fills me with hope. The Lord's kindness never fails. Okay? If he had not been merciful, we would have been destroyed. The Lord can always be trusted to show mercy each morning. Deep in my heart I say, the Lord is all I need. I can depend on him. The Lord is kind to everyone who trusts and obeys him. Is it ready yet, Fina? Yeah? Okay, number two. A, what do you think A could mean? A, I saw this character quality in Fa'alua that God gave her, and it's always creative. Um, James chapter 1 verse 17 goes like this. Everything good comes from God. Every perfect gift is from him. These good gifts come down from the Father who made all the lights in the sky. But God never changes like the shadows from those lights. He is always the same. So because she um, got that gift from God, he developed it in her and she was so creative. You've heard that a lot already. And then the next A I think of when I, quality that of God that I think of is attentive and affable. And that's a word you probably don't hear much, so I'll tell you what affable means. It's having characteristics that attract love and affection. Good-natured, easy and pleasant to talk to or friendly, gracious, benign or gentle and kind, and courteous. Those are exactly the qualities you think of when you think of my sister, Fa'alua. Um, and the text there is Psalms 116, verse one. To. I love the Lord because he hears my voice and my prayer for mercy. Because he bends down to listen, I will pray as long as I have breath. And then Al, I reckon I think of this quality of God when I think of Al and her name. She loves people just like God loves people. And we've got Romans chapter 5 verse 8. But here is how God has shown his love for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. You see, Asda was her church. Yes, she had her other churches in the weekend and a couple of um, days or nights in the evenings um, during the week. But she recognized and lived the truth that church is not a building, but people meeting together anywhere, anytime to connect with God. You, understanding, and I think of James chapter 1 verse 19, understand this my dear brothers and sisters, you must all be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. And that's what I noticed about Mrs. Soloto, and I always have to remind myself, because I don't have that quality yet in me. Um, she would always, you know, be very slow first. She'd listen. She'd listen first before she ever said anything. And that's what I loved about her. She was, I hardly saw her angry. Not like our other people like myself. Okay, A. The last A for me when I see Fa'alua is this quality that I saw from her um, that God gave her. Activating and actioning faith. James chapter 2 verse 17 and 18. It's up there on, on there. Maybe we can all read this together. Okay, let's try. Two, three. Faith that doesn't lead us to do good deeds 
is all alone and dead. Suppose someone disagrees and says it is possible to have faith without doing kind deeds. I would answer, prove that you have faith without doing kind deeds. And I will prove that I have faith by doing them. Okay, notice, and I guess the bottom line is this one. This is the bottom line. You see, God's qualities are never shown the same way in each one of us. And I know Chris has a faith, and he showed faith in a different way. Um, Angela has faith, she showed it in different ways. Um, Eliana, and also has their son, um, Darius. But each quality, can I have the last slide? Each quality um, is there. Oh, sorry, I better go quickly through this, okay? Can you remember the first F? Faithful trust. Two? Always creative. Three? Attentive and? Affable. L, loves people. U, understanding. Last one, actioning faith. Yes, she actioned faith. Yes, okay. So bottom line is this. What, she doesn't want you to be exactly like her. None of us could live up to it. She, she is just so up there, okay? She wants us, though, to do this. Connect to God So he will develop his different character qualities in you, just like he did in our beloved Mrs. Fatlua Soloto. God bless you all. I know that you'll be getting lots of words of encouragement, Chris, and the family um, from everybody here tonight, today. God bless. Just want to, on behalf of the pastoral team, just want to thank the family. And uh, just uh, for the life that Mrs. Suloto had in, in our school, uh, she really made my job a lot easier. Um, you know, she was always the one, when something needed to be done, like out, out of school, like, uh, you know, to collect some cards or, or to go get the bottles, she'll be the one to go and grab them and then come back. And then she'll say it's on behalf of um, the partial team, but, you know, I, I, I didn't do much. So I, I'm just so thankful for just everything that she's done. And uh, just, Pastor Chris, what you said on, on, at the funeral <clears throat> about how she uh, would make everyone food. Everyone knows in the staff that I'm, I'm not a fan of uh, vegetables and fruit. And so she took it upon herself to try and uh, make me some nice food. And um, I remember when I was in the States, I lived off a diet of, um, of burgers. I just ate burgers the whole time I was there. And I remember this one time I was in Anaheim and I said, man, I miss uh, the... Um, the, the salads that she would make me. And I, and I messaged her and said that I didn't think that I'll ever get to a point where I, where I miss salads, especially when I'm eating um, burgers, you know, something that I really enjoy. But I just want to thank Mr. Suloto. I was very excited uh, for this year when, um, again, when Mr. President came along and just excited about what we were, what we were going to um, achieve as a partial team for our school. And just um, everyone had a role. Everyone had a role and, you know, she played the biggest role, you know, she, she looked after myself and, and Gonald, and, you know, now she's gone. So, you know, it's on myself and uh, Mr. President and also Mrs. Toro to, you know, just to carry it on. You know, you don't want to go up here and then come back down here. All right, you two? But, um, yeah, just, you know, I'm just so thankful for Mrs. Uh, Suloto, and you're honestly going to really miss her. Um, every time something would happen in the school, She'll be someone that I can uh, go to and talk to about. And, um, you know, when the funeral happened, I, I, it just clicked to me. I was going, I can't go to her anymore and, and talk about it. And so, you know, it's, uh, it's something that I'm going to truly miss. But um, look, look where we are today. We're, we're at a memorial service for everything that she's done. So, Pastor Chris, you know, God bless you and your family. And thank you once again for, for the life um, that, uh, that Mr. Sewell also lived. God bless. <laughs> All right, thank you to the Bible Department and Pastoral Team. And I'd like to invite the Year 11s for their item. While the Year 11s are making their way up, since they shared, I'll share a memory. Uh, it was 2020, and we were getting ready for the Christmas uh, concert. And uh, me and Falua were hosting it, so we went to buy our uniform for, for, the, for that uh, concert as well. We went to, say, uh, I think it was Sylvia Park, and I, I don't want to use my card because I haven't gotten paid. And uh, Falua came up to me and she said, oh, use this card. It's all from the Lord. 
And I, I, we bought the uniform and I said, can I also just buy some jeans for the Lord? And so we bought some jeans and then she was like, you know, this is God's blessing. So it's all for the Lord. Uh, and, and this concert is going to be, you know, amazing. And it's to his glory. So I said, oh, to his glory. Okay, let me just use that card one more time so I can buy some shoes. And so I bought a uniform, bought my jeans and my shoes. And when we got in the car, I was like, what is this that the Lord is providing? I look at the card and it said, Christopher Suloso. I was like, oh, <laughs> praise the Lord for the Lord. What a good man of God who uh, gave us all this uniform and this jeans. Thanks, bro. You don't know, but you know now. But yeah, so. Good morning, everyone. Well, we are members of the 11SA class and uh, Angela is a member of our class, so we thought we won't be swallowed up by the other groups. Uh, the group has a, we've signed, the, all the students have all signed a card for Angela, so we want to tell Angela that we've missed your presence. We believe that uh, God has been with you and our thoughts have been with you. Uh, we share your grief and we pray every day that it's only the Lord that will console and comfort you and the Pastor Chris and the family. So I'll call on the class reps for our class just to present the card to Angela before we do our anthem. Remember there's a 
friend in Jesus who will wipe your tears away. And if your heart is broken, just lift your hands and say. to all of us you were special and that's no lie you brightened up the darkest day and the cloudiest sky your laugh alone warmed hearts your laugh was like music to hear i would give absolutely anything to have you well and standing near not a second passes when you're not on our mind your love we will never forget the hurt will ease in time Many tears I have seen and cried, they have all poured out like rain. I know that you are happy now and no longer in any pain. Thank you to Mrs. Sulalota for everything that she has done for us for the past three years. Condolences to the Sulalota family. May she rest in love and we'll see you again. Thanks. Thank you to Mr. Aroha and your year 11 class. This is another year 11 uh, class who also wants to pay tribute to, to, to Falua, to Mr. Loto. God is good. And all the time. Good morning, everyone. Um, I wanted to read a few verses that came to mind when I thought of Mr. Lotto. Proverbs 31, verses 25 to 26. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. Um, Asda was really blessed to have her, and today we're going to be singing one of her favorite songs, He's Able, and the boys will follow with their haka. Thank you.
Thank you to the year 11s and thank you to those boys for that very powerful haka. Um, you know, Mrs. Soloto, she's, she's taught since 2008 and she's taught, you know, alongside a lot of colleagues and a lot of people. Uh, teachers who are, are teaching the, our students today and also teachers who have taught in the past uh, alongside her. So I want to take this time to invite uh, Pat and Mr. Lafaeli uh, to the stage as, uh, to share also a memory with Falua as well. So. Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. Talo oh, Falava. Man, I thought the Tosa Moa was here this morning. I was going to ask Jaro and the ex boys to come up and show the current students how you do the haka. Uh, but you're yeah, just here to speak on behalf of the ex staff and students. Uh, before I go any further, so need, um, my name is Pat Apurpali Lafaele. Uh, at the moment, I'm teaching at Kielsen College in Melbourne. Uh, surprisingly, uh, some of our Kielsen College staff and our pastor is here this morning. Just acknowledge Dr. Pastor Mao uh, Tuaoi and Falituale Beta, Rachel, Sone, Nessa. And I believe we got some staff at the back there uh, from Melbourne as well. So, to acknowledge Lua, can I just ask all the ex-students and ex-staff, if you can just stand with me this morning, please. Is that the least you can do for Falua, especially the ex-students that have been giving you a lot of headaches. This is your chance to make things right this morning. And the staff as well, I can see you guys at the back there. Yes, stay standing guys. We're going to have at least 10 seconds of this moment of silence just to uh, acknowledge our sister this morning, if you may. Thank you guys, be seated. Because of our time, I'll, I'll just quickly um, Share. I know Falu and Chris from Henderson, uh, Samoan Church. We have about six years relationship there, uh, up and downs. <laughs> uh, Chris will talk about our church back then. Uh, tough people, really, really tough. Uh, grew out there, uh, but also I had three years best memories of working with Falua at um, Asta. Uh, just going to share two memories of me and Falua uh, as the because of our time, and then I'll probably try to share her favorite song, Goodness of God, at the end. Um, and I need your help on that one. First memory of Falua is uh, Falua used to uh, take her senior class to excursions and, and trips and things like that. And I, for some reason, was the trusted driver. So if I will flick me an email, uh, Pat, I'm going to take the kids to Rotorua. Um, would you like to drive the, the van? And, you know, for me, I, I like to, you know, go travel. So I'll, I'll say, yes, I'm coming. And Falua will go to Fitu. Uh, and I don't know how Falua convinced Fitu. I'm pretty sure Fitu will see that name coming on the forms or the stuff like this fellow, I just want to get out of school. <laughs> so I, one trip, me and Fadua went down to take the kids down Rotorua. And we got there, we we done the activities, you know, we go up to, I don't know, those things that you slide down and all the beautiful things there. And then in the evening, I, I just had it, I was just so tired. And then um, I think Fadua just realized she made a mistake of our room arrangements. So, if I lose room in my room and in the kids' room, and I said, if I lose, I've got to go to bed. We've got a big day tomorrow. I'm so tired. I thought, look, yeah, off you go. After devotion, dinner, straight to my room. I don't know what happened, but I got knocked out. And then the next thing I heard was knocking on the door. Boom, 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 boom. 
wake up, wake up, breakfast time, Mr. Lafayette, wake up. So I got up, get ready, went to the dining room, had my breakfast with the kids, and I saw Fadul walking, walking towards me. Okay, Fadul was coming to debrief me about what's going on today. So I was, you know, looking down and eating my cereal. Next thing I, I felt was a big slap on the back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Man, you snore the house down last night. My wall was vibrating. I have to go look for some earbuds to, so I can sleep. I was like, oh, I'm sorry, sis, I forgot to, to warn you. <laughs> uh, because you know when you sleep, you don't really know how loud you snore, yeah? So I, unless people tell you how good you are in that situation, so I must be really good at it uh, because Fa'alua didn't able to sleep the whole night. So the next night, it was Fa'alua's room, uh, the kids' room, and my room was way down the other, e- the other end of the corridor. So that's one of my memories. The other memories is, uh, for some reason, I've been blessed to coach our first 15, uh, first 15 rugby team. And Charo is here. Um, we have some big boys, some Samoan boys. But Tongan boys were just another level. I don't know where they got their genes from, but they were bigger than the Samoan boys. So we always have meetings now and then to, to breathe. Uh, who we're going to play, um, and and I must say we have done really well. They steal our cell, and you know we have fights in nearly every game. <coughs> and Fitu, me and Fitu would have to go and sit in a principal meeting <laughs> to apologise to that school. We go to the Auckland Rugby Union uh, afterwards to to just to s- support our players that you know involve. So one day we had a a lunchtime meeting and I'm looking for the boys and the boys didn't turn up, it was only a few. So I thought, I better go look for these boys. So I came to the front office and I think Joanne, Ms. Masters was there and I said, have you seen the boys? And she, she goes, yeah, I think they went upstairs in the library. A library at lunchtime? Seriously? <laughs> so for our lost office was up in the library at that time. So I went up looking for the boys, look at where you normally go to study, read a book, there's no one there. All right. When walk across Fa'alua's office, Fa'alua's keep working on her laptop. I mean, and I can see this, just a head, just head of about eight or nine boys on the floor. I was like, it's these fellas, man. So when I walk into the door, knock on the door, open the door, I can see two free pound piece super already open, on the floor with Kalo, and this guy's having a feast at lunchtime. <laughs> and I was like, sorry, what are you doing? <laughs> and then father would just laugh. I said, come, come eat, bro. Come, come have something to eat. Father um, used to bring all the, oh, that's the bell. Father used to bring uh, all the pea uh, I guess they got it, you know, when they go with Chris to things and to school to feed the boys. And, and just to look after Chris so that Chris won't be able to eat the pisupo. Uh, so that is Fa'alua. Um, the boys used to call him mum. And my job is to tell the boys, you know, not to <laughs> I trust as Mr. Lotto, but I don't tell them. I don't tell the boys off in that situation because I know there's a special bond that these boys have with Fa'alua, including my nephew that used to go there. So today we just acknowledge Falua and I thank you to all the ex-staff and ex-students for making time to be here. I'm going to share uh, the song, Goodness of God. I was hoping that my crew from Melbourne would help me, but I know short notice, so I know they're going to sing from the, from the crowd. And the rest of us as well. So I'll try my best, guys. I won't promise anything. So thank you, uh, sound guys. I hear this is my Lord's favorite song, Chris. Goodness of God. Okay. Well, give it a go.
I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. All my days I've been held in your hands. The moment that I wake up, until I lay my head, oh, I will see of the goodness of God. Come on, sing with me. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. Every prayer that I am able, oh, I will see of the goodness of God I love your voice You have led me through the fire In darkness night You were close like no other I know you as a father I know you as a friend and I have lived in the goodness of God. Oh, my life, you have been faithful. So, come on, sing. Sing with me, God. Thanks, uh, Pat. You still got it, man. Uh, now I'd like to invite the band, please, Tony and your uh, group, to uh, bless us with an item. Can 
hear me? I mean, hello. Um, hello, everyone. My, my name is uh, Gabriel Pisi. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't actually prepare anything because it's all last minute, but I'll try to get over from my big head. Um, Okay, a memory I have of Ms. Soloto was um, actually um, trying to wag in her class. It was a bad idea because um, I was, um, she said, okay, let's go. She actually made me rake rubbish for the whole of the period and all of lunch. And um, she gave me a flick, of, flick on my ear, which um, I considered that as a flick of love. I knew she loved me, but I loved her too. So, um, yeah, that was just a quick memory. But, um, yeah, so on behalf of the, as the brass band, we're going to have um, Freddie, the forehead, to play um, All That I Am on his instrument.
Amen. Thank you so much, Freddie. That was beautiful. And thank you, Gabriel, for that memory, too. Year 13 is your time now, so uh, I'd like to invite you to the stage. Greetings to you all. My name is Rita Solia, and I was a proud student of Ms. Soloto. Growing up, I would often see Ms. Soloto at every church function or event. Um, she was there running around, helping out where she could, and getting involved. But I never really got to know her personally until 2018. 2018, I started at ASDA as a year nine student and had the privilege of being in both her English, sorry, in both her English and Bible class. However, I was only in her English class for just that first year, but remained in her Bible class up until now. I often like to think that I was her favorite student because to Ms. Soloto, there was something about my name that she just loved like, saying. And to her, it was only my voice that she could hear, even though the whole class was talking. It was always, Ruta this, Ruta that, Ruta lavanga kaukala. And my all-time favorite, stand up and mute in front of the class. And as much as I hated being moved away, for my friends, I knew she did that for the benefits of our education. And I listened to her anyway and moved, because if I didn't, like Samson said, she'll stand up and give us that someone gentle touch that she loves to give. Ms. Sulotto was not only just a teacher or dean to us, but was also a mother figure to many. She cared, she cared for us, and no matter how busy she was, she always had time for her students. And that's something that will be greatly missed. I would best describe Ms. Soloto as a strong woman. She showed up to school throughout her illness with a big smile. And if we saw her, it was as if she, didn't, she wasn't going through any pain. She was a woman who put God first in everything, in class, in life, and in the advice she had for us. She was someone that I could go to when I wasn't feeling good about myself. And she never once failed to remind me of my worth. Not only was she there for us for personal reasons, but she supported us and pushed us to exceed beyond our limits in school. She worked hard in everything she did. She was never the type to meet people halfway, but would take full control of the situation. She was someone who, who never stressed out, even though everyone else was. Um, I wish I could see her again, talk to her, and annoy her like I always did. And if I could, I would turn back time just to hear her dry jokes, which she thought was so funny and would often laugh, to, laugh about it alone. The thought of her not being here to see us graduate, um, uh, pains our hearts. Um, however, sorry, <laughs> although she's not, um, with us, um, her presence remains, oh, her memories, sorry, her memory, the memories of her remain and her presence will always be felt within our school and home. It is with great relief to know that she isn't, she's resting in a better place now where there is no more suffering or pain. To wrap up, I'd like to state a verse which is from Matthew 11 verse 28 and it says, then Jesus said, come to me, all who are weary, and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take your rest now, Ms. Soloto. Moe male file mu, te felua ili na tayao. Alofanga, your favorite student.
Salofa, Malorele, and uh, greetings to you. Um, my name is um, Kavahatupo, uh, and um, I was a proud student of uh, Ms. Ololoto. Uh, Ms. Ololoto. Um, she has been teaching me for the uh, past five years, and um, I've grown to know her personally and um, socially. Uh, Ms. Ololoto was, um, <clears throat> to me, she was a proud pathfinder. And uh, for those seven-day Adventists who know what a Pathfinder is, it's those um, kids with, um, with those green, white, yellow badges and stuff all, all, along, all along the sides. And um, to me, she, no, no, um, even though um, she was a um, strong character, but she was, she was committed. Uh, she was a committed Adventist. Uh, and also his teacher as well. Um, <clears throat> there was a Pathfinder gathering um, a while ago, at, uh, and we were going to hike. And um, before that, we had a rally. And um, at the rally, I could I could just see her from a mile away. I I just knew what the back of back looks like. And uh, she was wearing her uh, Pathfinder uniform. And um, I walked up to her, and um, I was unsure whether it was her because. Um, um, he was talking with a lot of people, and um, yeah, it was the back. She was facing backwards to me, and um, as soon as I went close by, I saw Pastor Chris with his uh, with his uniform, all ready, all you know, salute and whatnot. Uh, yeah, and then um, I knew I was sure it was her. I went up to look at her, and um, man, she gave me the best smile she could ever give, and um, I could, I would never forget that smile, um, even until now. Uh, I will still remember that smile. Um, there was this, um, there's this saying in um, Tongan, um, which means in English, um, the, the ship has um, landed, but will never be forgiven, uh, forget, uh, will never forget, be forgotten, sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, to this understanding of this um, this word or proverb, um, it means the journey has ended, but that journey will never be forgotten. Um, to Ms. Ololoto, uh, to uh, me, to Ms. Ololoto, she was my counselor. Every um, every teacher that um, has sent me out of her class, I would go straight to her class. Whether she had a class or not, I would still enter the class and see how she was doing. Um, yeah, she was yeah, up there with all of us, year 13s. Year um, she would, uh, you know, if I was to count how many um, pinches in the ear, pinches I got on the ear, I'll be up there with these guys. I'll be like champion. I will have all the medals. Because, uh, yeah. I was, I was the one that always talked a lot, you know, because um, uh, if there was a game on Saturday, come back on Monday, talk about it in her class, and then uh, I, I wouldn't hear her coming. She will just come, stand there for like 30 seconds, and then she'll, you know, she'll just grab your ear and then just pull it. And then I'll just look back and then she'll be like, do you know why I gave you that? And then I'll look at her and then she'll be like, because I like to, you know, your ears are too big, you can't reach there and just, you know. But, yeah, um, these are million stories that we could tell you about Ms. Sololoto and um, how she impacted our lives. But, um, yeah, she's, uh, I represent, uh, on behalf of our uh, year 13, I would like to say um, thank you to the family. Um, each and everyone uh, standing up front here, uh, Ms. Sololoto has touched and opened, um, opened us to um, a lot of uh, opportunities. And um, the song we're about to sing is uh, He Will Carry You. And um, yeah, thank you.
There is no problem too big God cannot solve it And there is no mountain too tall He cannot move it And there is no storm too dark He cannot come in No sorrow to deep, he cannot soothe
I still really enjoyed the year 11, Hakka. That was really good. <laughs> well done, boys, and uh, well done to everyone that's been up here. This is an opportunity, and I want to extend this, uh, uh, this time and, uh, to the ex-students. If you're an ex-student of ASDA and you want to say something about Ms. Loto, how she has impacted your life, this is a very uh, short uh, slot uh, for, for everyone. You know, we all can't get up here, but just, you know, a few of those that can represent maybe the year level to come up and say something. We will have a bow. Mrs. Formatsu is here. She has a bow, and she thinks that if she thinks that you've uh, gone a bit too far, uh, and she rings the bow, uh, it's time for us to just say a few things and wrap it up. So, yeah, this is now your time ex uh, as the students to come up and, and say something for your teacher. First and foremost, all glory to God for bringing us here today as we continue to celebrate the legacy of our Tina Toa, Falua Sunloto. My name is Alusina Fotialo, just one of many students who experienced Miss Backhand Highlands. It comes with great honor to stand before you as a proud representative of ASDA's graduating class of 2016. I questioned myself, how could I have possibly fit lifelong memories, lessons, and who Miss was in just two minutes? So I'll try my best. A teacher, who learnt, oh, a teacher whose heart was strong enough to soldier on through her pain, yet still offer every student her undivided attention. A loyal counsellor whose door was always open to listen and give you a, does your parents know lecture? towards oh, and followed by Bible sermon. A proud Samoan ambassador of ASDA who wore a heart, her heart on her sleeve and never hesitated an opportunity to represent and share her cultural heritage with students and the whole school. A day one family support system who gave comforting warm hugs and wise words during hardships. An amazing wife a loving mother, a dedicated daughter, friend, but my personal favorite, a devoted follower of our Heavenly Father and Savior Jesus Christ. She spent many years as a teacher, yet she fulfilled and served more than her role, the epitome of a true teacher. She persevered to go the, the extra mile to, for, to serve not only her students, her family, her congregation, but mostly her calling. Her trust and love for God was portrayed through that contagious smile. She had, oh, she had, because not only she never blamed God or made excuses, she knew her pain was temporary in comparison to the everlasting life that was ahead of her in heaven. So, Miss, thank you is not even enough to show our love and appreciation for your dedication in all areas <coughs> of life you served and impacted. A word of advice I have for everyone here today to help with Mr. Loto's legacy live on. When going through hardships, think of Mr. Loto. Don't let that one negative obstacle in your life or you're facing in life Stop you from remembering the countless blessings our God has showered upon you. Our memories of you will be forever cherished within our hearts, Miss. Till that glorious morning. Ia manuelo malangatina. Vafta tia le lava mo mea umangatifaya. Aloha aku to the Sunloto family and on behalf of the class of 2016. Much love from your favorite Futialo. Thank you.
The floor is still open to anyone. And, and, and if you want to say something afterwards, you're more than welcome uh, to, to line up here and then make your way up front so that we can uh, keep the flowing of time. If I talk about Fatal of Artu, if I am on Malu, if I own her, I miss it. I own her at all. Fa pair on my fire or my tour, Manishi, my final pot pot of my knee to that I out. I fa pita of a tour of Fatal of her, your pastor Chris, my final, Mother Inga at all. I miss it. I am a door. A more more love on the seed of Inga Man of Tai, it is to her. Uma fai ona tatu poto poto fatasi ire nei tu la tai au matengo fi peyo le upu fasha moa e mo moa ona ave mea matua kusha ai ave le fatai ire aonga mo le nei ava noa uma fai no ufa matala tu se tala pu pu ulamo ire matu mafanga mareti na falua falua. Where could I start? She was a blessing to many. She always went beyond for others and everything she did. She always compares me to my older brother, who was better, uh, to see who was better and a most behaved brother. But I guess within the five years of being in Asda, I would have to say that I was the naughtiest someone kid she ever had to deal with. And it's safe to say my brother took the cup for the most behaved. Without a doubt, every time I played up in school and went missing from school, when I arrived home, my mom would be waiting for her, or waiting for me with her wooden stick. And straight away, I knew Fa'alua already passed the message. Thanks to Fa'alua for pushing my parents, for allowing me to go with her to Fiji, and looking after me through the past five years of my life in Asda. Enough stories for now, but for overall, Fa'alua was a mother to us all, and I thank God for a blessing, such a loving and caring person in this world. I'm happy she's in a safe and better place now, and I know she'll be watching all over us. To Chris and the kids, and the Inga, Fa Malosi, Rotso Tele, Tato Toe Fa Tashi Matato Tina, Ile Langi, Bale Ola Fa Vau, Ia Manuero Malanga, Boe Fide Mu, Tato Toe Fe Wai, Ile Nata Eo, right? They know me. My name is uh, Patrick Irimia. Yo, that was Hi Pastor Chris. I'm pretty sure you're tired of listening to my stories now. But yo, as you guys know, if you want, if anyone has said that Falo was their first student, that's not the truth. As I am the naughtiest, but the most favorite student she ever had in her life. I've got, I've got a little bit too much stories of me. Our law was so back in year 12 I've done some dumb decisions I got stood down and um, prior to that I am expelled I was I haven't told mum she still doesn't know thank god she's not here but she was one of the teachers that fought back for me and without her I would have never came back on the Bible class, there's a, nick, um, there's a desk next to her seat. And there was a special desk for me. Because I'm always talkative. I'm always talking. Um, I'm still doing that now. I'm still talking. Still being a naughty kid. Sometimes. Not all the time. Because <laughs> our principal's here. But one thing about Musa Lutso. She always loved the kids, especially with Samoan kids. If she gave you a growling in Samoan, then you know it's time to behave. 
But with me, my grounds were never in Samoan. She likes to embarrass me and say it in English in front of everyone else. I don't mind because I knew she just wanted the best for me. In my exams or essays, I used to get achieves. She always tell me to stay back because she knew I could do more. And for that, she will ever, forever have a special place in my heart. As the um, ducks <laughs> of class of 2020, Patrick every meal, I want you to um, keep that memory of our uh, Lua life. She has impacted all of us, and we're going to make that impact something special with our lives. Oh, got a Bible verse as well. I just wrote it down now. This Bible verse always will stick with me thinking of our law, and it goes for our oh, second Timothy 4 verse 7. I have fought the good fight. I have kept this faith. And miss, you have fought that fight, and now it's time for you to rest. When we want low malanga miss, Amen. Thank you to the Ducks of Asda. It's always the guys who say that I'm the favorite that are the naughtiest in the classes. So Tafa and Patrick must have given Ms. Suloto a hard time. Um, now it's time, uh, if no one asked, for their year 10s to do their items. So I'll uh, ask them to make their way up, please, for, for your time. While they're preparing, um, Miss Lotus' class still looks the same. She still has her photos, her pictures. The smell is still the same. And uh, when Miss Lotto was teaching from home, her flat screen TV is still there. And this is what she promised me. And I think I can still recall that, you know, whatever happens, when I'm done with this TV, you can take it home. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if the principal agrees with, uh, with that, but uh, I want to keep on to that promise. All right, thank you to the year 10s. Love <laughs> Ele fanga loina yo mato loto. Mai mau le mafutanga piana le te te a ilioti. Momo te saloni e fa fa ipose fulu fa. Awa fa i tatu te tani tano wa maliu Yesu mato itu mai. E fa pe a fa i. Ona au maya le atu a fa tasi maya e o momo ona Yesu. Amen. Manuelo Malanga Falo Sololoto, Tato Tefilwai, Iletaya, Oletoi Tu. Amen.
Hi. Um, hello, um, Pastor Crystalotto, Angela, and uh, Ainga. Um, this is our year 10 group, and we'll be singing a song to um, remember Mrs. Solotto. I know that in worship, she really enjoyed uh, singing songs of hope, so we will sing Smile a While in um, English, and then um, we practice also in Samoan.
Yeah, thank you ladies for uh, that beautiful item. Uh, you'll now hear from the year 11s uh, who also have an item as well. The Samoan, Samoan culture group. Um, yeah. Just like I saw two hackers, you're going to see another version of the song. Salo falava, malo so for manuia. Ye vi ele to tato filoa ilenita yao. Ye lo wava malo falo alo, tetu la ye to aye. Faya umasui, hol someone group. If I lay what to some matter money mau, it to sign malimafanga motusia, malisunga de faya o haya missul lotto. For falitu a foy. If I see no ya pastor Chris. It was truly a blessing to have Mr. Lotto as our supporter or our leader in our Samoan group. Mr. Lotto was someone that we looked up to when we had practiced for Samoan Language Week in the concert in 2020. She would always be in the room waiting for us to practice and even stayed after school to supervise us. I still remember that one day when we had practice and she said to us, See, Siva Falile, my awal akaso, awal fa maaya. But she wasn't angry. On the last day of every Samoa language week, Miss brought us chick chips and chicken nipples, koko samoa, sapasui, taro, and fizzy drinks, even though the school doesn't allow fizzy drinks. <laughs> when it was time for lunch, she would announce us to be in room two, and by the time we got there, wow, well, everything was set up. And that's how we know her heart for us, and we are so grateful for that. The Samoan bond we had with her was like a Samoan funny auntie and our protector when Miss Wamatu growled at us. It saddens us not to see Mr. Lotto for Samoan Language Week this year. However, a strong thought came to us that she will be there next year, but we were so wrong. Although she will not be there to help us or encourage us to be who we are, The memories we made together will be forever cherished in our hearts. Oh, how we wish that we can hear her voice again, but it's too late. We will continue to keep your words in our hearts, Mr. Lotto. Say thank you to you for things you have done for us. It's not enough. We miss you, and we cannot wait to see you again in heaven.
Bravo. <laughs> we have come to the end of our program. And uh, b before we just finish up, we, we want to invite uh, Pastor Chris and your family to come on the stage and say a few things, a few words uh, about Falu and, and her journey here at school and anything else you want to, to add as well and, uh, before we wrap up. Thank you, uh, MC Sarah. Um, I've asked uh, Falu's sisters to uh, say something first. Uh, we always talk, uh, you know me, I know you, but um, I invite them to come forward to say a few words and then uh, I'll say something briefly afterwards. Good afternoon. We would like to take this opportunity on behalf of Pastor Chris and our two families to express our deep gratitude for your continued kindness and support throughout the course of our Lord's sickness, her last days, and throughout her last services. Thank you to all the students, former and current. Thank you for your prayers your kind words, your written messages, the cards you wrote to her, she heard them all. If we didn't read a name right, she knew exactly who you were. Probably your parents, she named your aunties, your uncles as well, and your whole family. But she knew each and every one of her students. May you all keep striving and keep aiming to do your best. Thank you, all who took part in her services, the brass band, beautiful, just beautiful. Thank you. The staff, you went above and beyond. Fa'alua felt your love, your kindness, and your presence. She loved you all. Jessie, Sarai, and your singing group, who came very early on Sunday mornings to sing to Fa'alua. Like... Who does that? <laughs> Do you guys ever sleep in? <laughs> but thank you, thank you, thank you. Your beautiful singing comforted Falua through her pain and her sickness. She was always happy and looking forward to seeing, to seeing you. Thank you for today's memorial service. Principal Gloria, the board of trustees, and all to your staff. Thank you for putting this together. Our families feel the warmth and your love. Words cannot express what this means to us. Asda was her heart and her second home. She loved her work because of the staff and the students. Thank you all for your love for Fa'alua. May you all be blessed individually and be able to continue the good work you are doing. Students, our encouragement, make her proud. She is physically no longer with us, but her legacy that she has left in each and every one of you lives on. Use her te teachings, her words of encouragement, her kindness, her biblical teachings, her motherly words and growlings, or gentle someone touches. Those long conversations, don't let them go to waste. Use them and keep going. Do your best. Be your best. Mrs. Suloto saw the goodness in each of you and always and only wanted the best for you. Use her love that she showed towards you to move forward and make your positive mark in this world. Make her proud. Make your families proud. But above all, make God proud. God bless you all and thank you. Just a few words to conclude. Um, our thank you this morning. Um, thank you for the poor fitty. Uh, what an honor to uh, welcome our, our family into the church this morning. Thank you, Pastor Micah, uh, for your kind words. Uh, Falua was a, I'm a pastor by title, uh, and I hope that uh, 
you know, I do it uh, well. But at home, I follow the pastor. At school, she's the pastor. And so uh, uh, she's deeply missed because of her influence at home and her pastoral heart. One thing that I've noticed in the course of the last two uh, services that we had is that how far Lua was at home is exactly how she was uh, in the community and in the school. Um, I, I, I was a chaplain at DASDA for about five or six years, and uh, <clears throat> I got to see her in her environment. Um, I thought I was being called to chaplaincy, but when I got to ASDA, um, I was also her personal assistant. I was her driver. I was her emergency person. Chris, I need this. And so I go down to the uh, super value and get it and uh, things like that. So, uh, you know, that's what I, I miss about Fula, Falua. Uh, she always uh, got me to do those extra uh, chores for her. Falua wasn't an upfront person. She didn't like the mic in public speaking. However, at school, she wasn't afraid of the mic. Um, teachers would often give her tell her to make an announcement over the mic because sometimes it's quite intimidating uh, to use the mic at school. Um, and she used it at sports days as well and she was very comfortable using the mic. And I guess because she had that leadership quality, the organization, uh, organizational quality, and she wasn't afraid to use the mic to, uh, to, to do what she uh, needs to do. I want to take this time also to thank the uh, Board of Trust Trustees that are here. Uh, thank you for your presence. Uh, thank you, uh, Stephen Davies, uh, for your uh, part this morning. Um, as I said in a previous service, uh, Falua first and foremost loved God, and um, second, I question whether she loved her family or whether she loved her school second. Uh, she loved the school so much, uh, and as a family, we knew that. Um, I'm going to be biased here and say that Falua had the best classroom because she'll take all her family along and uh, would help her uh, from, from dawn till sunset, um, hanging things up and painting things. And um, so she loved to make sure that her class uh, looked really nice. It's interesting that uh, I also saw the relationships that Falua had with um, her colleagues and students. And as mentioned, uh, many of her students called her mum. But she even had staff members that were like sons. Um, Mr. Tessessi over there, uh, Mr. Bingham, uh, these guys, uh, professional teachers, yet uh, they were like, uh, like her sons. Uh, she fed them, made sure they were eating healthy, and uh, just helped them with their PE uh, programs, counseled them. Uh, she loved, uh, loved you boys and uh, loved uh, all the staff. She had a lot of respect for the senior, student, uh, senior teachers as well. Mr. Boganza, she respected you. Uh, Mr. Dr. Bootsman respected uh, the senior teachers. At the same time, she was willing to mentor uh, the young ones coming through. Um, hey Sarah, you know, I always wondered what that big bill was, uh, big amount missing from my, um, my card. Back then, I was praying for forgiveness uh, for the person that, uh, that used it. Um, you know, you must have bought the most expensive jeans and, and shoes. Um, but you're right. It's a, it's a blessing, brother. It's a blessing. Falu was ready to start term two. Uh, she was in hospital uh, on that Wednesday. Uh, school starts on Monday. And she said to me, Chris, bring my, my bag in. Uh, she wanted to mark the books and mark uh, students' work while she was in hospital. Uh, that's the type of teacher she was. Um, but, you know, I did bring her back to hospital, but she was just too, uh, too sore and pain uh, to, to do that. So, uh, but, it, you know, her heart was there, and she was ready to, to start term two. Uh, thank you, uh, Brass Band. You guys uh, made her final services uh, a real blessing. And um, just to conclude this morning, our family has prepared uh, special, special gifts so if I could ask Angela to, uh, to come forward, please. It's not, it's not a payment, um, Ms. Teolilo, uh, Ms. Fomatu, um, but uh, this is Fado's love gift to the school. 
uh, to Esther. She, uh, she wants to give $1,000. Uh, Falua loved her, her dean work. And so Falua asked that that goes towards student welfare, shoes, socks, things like that. She loved uh, serving the students in that way. Um, Doni and, uh, and the band, you guys were amazing. Um, you took it to a whole different level. And uh, thank you for your uh, participation and uh, just giving her uh, such a wonderful uh, send-off. And so, uh, Doni, this is from Falu as well, $1,000 to the brass band. Um, and uh, God bless you. Uh, that's all we could say for now, but uh, God bless our school. Um, and uh, God bless our students. Thanks, Pastor Chris and your family. I will now like to ask the ASDA staff, uh, if you're a staff at ASDA, uh, to please come forward for our special item as we uh, wrap things up. Thank you. Just as the staff are coming up, we've sat here now for three hours. You know, often it's very hard to keep our students quiet for one hour. But I'm very thankful to the students. Year 10, is it year 11? Yeah, year 11. Um, I'm very thankful that they can sit through three hours of testimonies. Um, we're going to sing our song um, finally. Everyone can sing it together. Uh, Falua has left her mark. Her footprints around the school, her classroom, the uniform room, in my office, in her classroom, or all the different areas of the school where she was a dean. And it's very interesting, the stories that come out, teachers, You've got to be careful that the, pay, the, the pictures we paint or whatever we're doing in our classroom, it all comes out in the end when we're not around. But, you know, Falua has left her mark. And students, we are all writing chapters in our book. What kind of chapters have you written? And just as we uh, went through the testimonies today, what a wonderful life. And uh, we just want to thank the Lord for Falua. We're just going to sing this song. And then the pastor will say a prayer. But just before the pastor says his prayer, we will stand for a minute of silence just to honor Falua and the work that she has done. And um, we're just going to sing what a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see.
I invite you all to please stand with us for a moment of silence to honor Mrs. Sulot. Thank you. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for joy. We thank you for granting us peace in tough times. We thank you for comforting us with your compassionate love. Now, Lord, we are now being comforted, and now we have the courage to let our sister, our mother, a colleague, a daughter, to rest in peace. But help us, Lord, to be strong. Help us to take her legacy for us to live on and be an inspiration to us for our students here to do their best and for the children, for Pastor Chris, and the family to be strong. For our colleagues here, Lord, we felt her presence. But most of all, Lord, we are serving a God that will never leave us nor forsake us. As we are part, as we are part Lord, to close this service, we ask that may your name be glorified forever and ever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, let's be seated. I'd like to invite the family. Uh, we have refreshments and all of our visitors that, that are here. I can see some parents, ex-teachers. Um, we'd invite you now to come into the kitchen where we've prepared some um, so a, a little meal for you and um, and the students we are now going to stand especially the year nines at first and you will board the bus okay so all the year nines if you would stand please and teachers from year nine if you would like to hmm? now coming now the rest of us will stay seated and your teachers will take you out to the foyer. All of our family, yeah. could you show our visitors where to go? Thank you. Okay, the rest of us stay seated.